All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Plant Based Homestead Prepper where we make prepping fun. In this video, we're going to talk about the water quality in your house. So, cute intro. Welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, welcome back. Thank you for the intro. And we're going to jump right in. The reason why I wanted to do this video because I was getting ready to leave out of my house and I heard a story going on and I pulled out my phone and I recorded it because I wanted to show you guys what they were talking about as far as water quality in your home not mine in your home so watch this and then we're going to come back and talk about it contaminants according to EPA data but how do you know if the water passing through your pipes and into your tap is safe finding out if your water is safe enough to drink can take some time effort and money but it's definitely worth doing. If you're connected to a community water system and pay your own bill, you should receive an annual water quality report called a CCR, or Consumer Confidence Report. If you don't have one, call your local water supplier. And if you rent, contact your landlord. If you're on a non-community public water system or use a private well, you won't get a CCR. So Consumer Reports recommends having your water tested once a year and anytime you notice a change in taste, color, or odor. You should also get your water tested if your home was built before 1986, when lead-free pipes were mandated. To test your water, the EPA recommends using a certified lab. You can find a lab on the EPA's website. If the test finds contaminants in your water, it's probably time to choose the right filter to clean it up. For multiple or high levels of contamination, a reverse osmosis system is recommended. If your main concern is improving taste and odor, filters that are used in pitchers are actually really affordable and work great. Some can even handle more serious contaminants like lead. In CR's testing, only one pitcher style filter, Pure Ultimate with Lead Reduction, earned an excellent rating for flavor and odor reduction. Now, Consumer Reports also says regardless of which filters you choose, you want to make sure your filter meets standards set by NSF International and the American National Standards Institute for removing the contaminants you're worried about and that it's certified by an independent lab. Now okay, so <clears throat> I wanted to um, to just briefly talk about water quality. And this is very, that, that story right there is the very reason why we don't drink tap water and why we always try to go out and get high pH drinking water simply because we don't trust anybody. Okay. And if you think that your municipal cares about you, you got another thing coming because your area could be another Flint, Michigan, just like Flint, Michigan. Okay. Now they <clears throat> meaning the municipal company, they're just in, 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 in business to take your money. Have you ever noticed how, um, okay, prime example, California. A lot of folks in California right now are without power. Do you know they're still going to get a power bill next month? Hmm. Why is that? Let something go on in, in your neighborhood where they shut your water off to everybody in the neighborhood and see, isn't your water bill the same amount of money that it was last month? Watch if anything happens, storm comes through, and you have to go outside and clean up your street in front of your house. And notice that you're not going to get any kind of reduction in your bill. Why is that? Hi, I'm Christina. Where we explore preparing for the last days through Bible prophecy and current news. Now, back to plant-based homestead prepper. So, these are, the, these are some of the very reasons why Jennifer and I do not drink municipal water. And we have uh, filters over our, on our shower. We have filter on our kitchen. And I am actually thinking about putting a filtration system throughout our entire house. And I'm not real sure yet because for those that follow us, you know that we are talking about and, 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 and we're actively looking for another place right now. So <clears throat> what, are, what are a few things that you can do to make sure you have good drinking water? Number one, 
Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. All right, one of the cheapest ways that you can make sure you have good drinking water is to go out and buy you a well, like in the in the in the uh the story said, one of those pure filters. Go out and get you a pure filter that filters out lead and all that good stuff. Now is that the best way? Probably not. Is it gonna be a cheap way, an affordable way? Yes. Go out and get you a picture. I see them at, at Lowe's all the time. They're like twenty bucks, maybe twenty five at that if that. But think about it, if you're gonna be drinking water, don't you wanna make sure you're drinking the best water? Okay. So that's one thing that you can do right there that you can make sure your family is drinking good water if you're drinking it from the tap. Number two, number two, you can actually go <clears throat> and have um, or install yourself a filtration system on your kitchen sink. All right. That's the second way you can do it. Those are a little bit more expensive than the, for the, you know, the ones that you pour the water in and then it filters that way by dripping down. They're a little bit more expensive, but it will help. All right. Also, if you're going to go that route, I would recommend you getting yourself a shower filter as well and putting it on your shower. It's very easy to install. Um, simply take off your old shower head, screw the, screw the shower filter in there, put your old shower head back onto the, the shower filter. Boom. You just installed a shower filter. So that's easy. That's number two. And then another way you can do it, you can do it kind of like what Jennifer and I do and what we do. And I will actually show you. Matter of fact, I just filled up two bottles. I just downed 25 ounces and I, feel, I'm, I just filled up two bottles. Now, the best way you can do it <clears throat> is, I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see. Oh, shucks. All right. Hey, welcome back. I wanted to um, promote our friends Paul and Adrian <clears throat> out there at Off Grid Desert Farming. <clears throat> Excuse me, with Paul and Adrian, they uh they run a channel where they actually are able to thrive in the desert. They live in Arizona where the temperatures are really really cold and very very hot, and they have no water. But they have figured out a way to farm and grow their own food and make sure that they uh, that they thrive. So make sure you go ahead and check out Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. And also, we did a um, we did a live interview with these guys. Oh my goodness, they were so hilarious! So make sure you check out that too. That will be in the description below. And you can also <clears throat> go and make sure you check out their channel. They are growing by leaps and bounds. These guys work very hard on their channel, and I am extremely proud uh, of calling them friends. And, uh, and YouTube buddies. So, Off Grid Desert Farmer with Paul and Adrian. Go check them out, okay? All right, so there you have it. This is a PSA, a public service announcement about the water and the water quality in your house. Now, you can always do, you know, bottled water. That's, you know, that's a little bit better. But a lot of companies with the bottled water, and do you know do your own research anything you learn from plant plant-based homestead prepper make sure you go and do your own research because i don't want anybody ever say i heard it from plant-based homestead prepper and, and you know blah 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 and because remember this is an entertainment channel this is an entertainment only channel do your own research make your own decisions all right so thank you for being here i appreciate you i adore you i love you make sure you subscribe hit the like button Place your comments. I'll come, come through and I will answer all your comments or all your questions. And make sure you watch the next video. I don't know if it's here. I don't know if it's here. But it's going to be up here somewhere. Make sure you, and I keep covering my face. Make sure you watch 
these videos, okay? All right, take the, talk to you guys later. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Aww. All right, that's just a little peek inside of our lives of us being very silly at times. Jennifer has a song she's going to debut right now. Y'all ready? Welcome to Splant Base Homestead Prepper. Splant Base Homestead Prepper. Splant Base Homestead Prepper. I'm Roger Chappelle. Oh. <laughs> and this is why we don't let her do any intros or outros. Where well, we make prepping fun. Where we make prepping fun. Welcome to Plant Base Homestead Prepper. 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 <laughs> and yes, we still have lights. We're still on the grid. And right behind me is like five dogs. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.